So this is the carbon which is electron rich. So this is the center for oxidation. So attach oxygen, insert oxygen between this carbon and hydrogen. So this is what your A is. That's what we did to cumene. That's what we are doing here. So you have got your A. Next thing is you hydrolyze that height. This previously we are uh, this peroxide will be hydrolyzed. H plus will come to a outer carbon because there will be lesser hindrance. Like this. Now, if you remember what happened next, a group migrated there in case of cumene. Here also, you have to do the same. You have to migrate a group. Now, there are two bonds that can migrate. Either this bond will migrate to oxygen or this bond will migrate to oxygen. Any one of them can migrate. Now, this bond, this bond, when migrates, this carbon has a double bond. Now this carbon, if I name it for convenience, C1 and C2. C1 do not is not involved in making any pi bond. C2 is involved in making pi bond. So when we break this bond and C2 starts to form a bond with oxygen, then C2 has a facility of pi bond. And during migration, the C2 is more electron rich than C1. The transition state will be stabilized more if C2 is migrated rather than C1. So C2 will migrate because it's more electron rich. So C2 will migrate. This oxygen is going to form a bond with C2. This water molecule is going to come out. When this bond is broken, this carbon is going to develop a plus charge on it. And water is going to attack this plus charge. And let's see what, what, what happens then. There's a pi bond like this. This bond breaks and this C2 went and made a bond with this oxygen. H2O came out from this side. Let me draw it a little bigger. This is C2. Previously the bond position was here. Now it's going to go and form bond with oxygen. This carbon now has a plus charge. This bond is broken. H2O came out like this. Fine. There's a bond between this carbon and oxygen previously. Now there's a plus charge. Now when there's a plus charge, oxygen from outside or this oxygen, any one of them will, any one of them will attack. Actually, when this oxygen gives its electron to the, this carbon, this oxygen gains a plus charge. And that plus charge on oxygen is not stable. And there's no hydrogen on this oxygen so that plus charge can be removed from oxygen. So what will happen even though this oxygen will for the time being till the moment that water from outer source comes and attacks this oxygen will be giving its electron to carbon to stabilize it. But ultimately a bond has to be formed between oxygen of water molecule and this carbon. And then And then what will happen is what happened earlier. If, if I hide this OH, now you consider this as a cyclic ether and both the part is going to come out as OH and OH. That's what happens in hydrolysis of ether. Like if you have a ROR, if you hydrolyze it, both half is going to come out as ROH, ROH. You break it like this, this comes out as alcohol and the other half also comes out as alcohol. The mechanism we have seen when we, when I, when, when I wrote the mechanism for hydrolysis of cumene peroxide. So this part is going to come out as OH and that part is also going to come out as OH. So what we are going to have is OH. We already have a OH and one more OH. When two hydro Hydroxide group comes on a carbon, water is removed and you get a C double bond O like this. Look at this. This is in all. This is alcoholic group and this is enolic group. You can, you can, can you identify this that this is an enolic form? This will, this will quickly 
very quickly tautomerized to con and this enolic form will be converted into ketonic group. The carbon which is attached to oxygen will continue to be attached with oxygen and a double bond will be formed. That's what happens in a tautomerism reaction when enol is converted to keto form. We studied a very important concept previously, tautomerism, and we are applying that here. Keto form is very, very stable form. Keto is the C double bond O is the strongest double bond of organic chemistry. So C double bond O is have the 99% of content in this keto enol equilibrium. Keto form is more than in fact 99%. It's and this enol form is, is a minor 0.1.2 percentage. So this enol form is going to quickly convert into keto form. And we have 1,6-hexane diol like this. So this is going to be the final product. The steps are exactly the same as we had in the case of cumene. But instead of isopropyl benzene cumene, we have cyclohexene. So this is a simple application of what we have studied before. Now, we can move ahead and uh, these were the basic methods of preparations of phenol. Now we can move ahead with reactions of phenol. Now see there, there, there will be three kinds of reactions of phenol. The first kind will involve this oxygen hydrogen bond. In this kind of reaction, what will happen is someone will come and hydrogen will be removed. I mean, someone will come and snatch the hydrogen. Very conveniently that a base will do that. Hydroxide ion comes, snatches this H+, plus, goes away as water molecule. Someone else, has, else comes, snatches this hydrogen. Or if oxygen gives its electron to some other group and forms a bond like this, then oxygen develops a plus charge. And then to facilitate the removal of plus charge from oxygen, this hydrogen has to be removed. So that will also come in this category. So these kind of reactions will come in the category where oxygen hydrogen bond is broken. Now, that will be one kind of reaction this phenol will show. The second kind of reaction will be the one in which this carbon oxygen bond is broken. That means this whole OH group is removed from here and we will get this lower half. That means we will get benzene. So this will be reduction of phenol. So that will be second kind of reaction. And the third kind of reaction, of course, in which many reactions would come, will be addition reaction, electrophilic substitution reaction on this phenyl ring. So hydrogen will come out and other electrophiles will come in. And this kind of electrophilic substitution reaction we have studied for the chapter of hydrocarbon when we studied electrophilic substitutions. So in this case, in case of phenol also, many electrophiles can come in and get attached to the benzene ring. So one kind of reaction will concern oxygen-hydrogen bond, second carbon-oxygen bond and third addition on this phenyl ring. So let's start one by one. First we'll see the reactions that will involve removal of hydrogen. So in this first category that I'm, I'm classifying the whole reactions into, the first will, will be simple acid base reaction. You have phenol, you take a base, and H plus will be abstracted, and phenoxide ion will be formed, and water will be formed. This is simple acid base reaction, nothing else. But hydrogen is being removed off in this kind in this kind of reaction. Other reaction can be if you take diazomethane. There are two nitrogen for so for that it's diazo one carbon for that methane. This is called diazomethane. Diazomethane nitrogen has plus charge and this carbon has minus charge like this. Fine. In diazomethane, carbon has negative charge, so it is very highly unstable. 
and um, this this it's it's it acts as a base it can also act as a nucleophile it's a hard nucleophilic center because negative charge on carbon is not stable so this c minus is going to snatch hydrogen from phenol like anything and when that happens this ch2 is going to turn into ch3 because one H plus is going to come and C minus and S plus is going to form a bond like this. Now the CH2 has turned into CH3 and now this N2 gas can come out if someone comes and just nudges the CH3 a little bit. If even with the slightest push of this phenoxide ion, this N2 gas will come out because N2 gas is a brilliant living group. It's a very, very good living group. So N2 gas will come out. This O- is going to form a bond with carbon. So you are going to get a ether like this. This will be the final end product of this reaction with diazomethane. Diazomethane is an important reagent, and this the reaction of this diazomethane with phenol you have to you have to remember. First is the acid base reaction, and then there's a nucleophilic substitution reaction, giving you methoxy benzene so here hydrogen is being broken fine